Hey there guys, it's your kid pal Wiggly, and welcome back to more Let's Play Yakuza 0 Blind. In the last episode, we ran around doing a few sub-stories that we found along the way, and in this episode, I think we're going to try to do the same thing, but they kind of seem to be thinning out now, so I'm not too sure that we're going to be able to find too many more, but who knows what the day holds. Um, if I don't find any more, then we will continue with the, uh, the main plot, though I do see just now on the, uh, the mini-map... Um, the bar where we found the, uh, the journalist guy has lit back up, so, uh, maybe we can, uh, continue his plot line? Was it, uh, not on this side? Am I incorrect? This is the bar where I met Kasuga, the reporter investigating Kamadocho's dark side. Uh, let's go back in. Sure. If Kasuga's here, I'll let him tell me one of his stories. By the way, I'm not gonna worry too much about, um like, not missing literally anything at all along the way. Uh, I'm not going to go out of my way to, at least right now, use a guide to do any cleanup on Chapter 2. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how I should approach it, but I think that what we're going to do is we are going to just do all of the sub-stories that I find naturally, and then we can go do cleanup at a later point. Uh, so I'm just going to kind of wing it. I, don't have, I have no idea how to structure this game. But we'll figure it out. Kasuk is here. I guess I'll say hello. Looks like he's uh, he's about to buy the whiskey. Uh, barkeep, whiskey and water. Yes, sir. Coming right up. Hmm? Whiskey and water. The guy next to him. It's the gun dealer. To let him know you want a gun, you sit next to him and order a whiskey and water. That's how it went last time. Kasuga must be making his move right now. Boss man stepping out for a bit. Alrighty. Be careful. Are you a reporter? Oh shit. Huh? Your writing's a dead giveaway. Besides, you've been snooping around for a while, sneaking glances my way. No, uh, I haven't. Shut your hole. We'll see if you sing a different tune minus a few white and pearlies. Follow me. Shit. Now he's done it. I told him to stay out of it. Guess I can't ignore this. Nope. Oh, it is 100% his fault, though. He's being I insanely risky about this. Good job, rock and roll bar. I wish we could go there. Honestly, I'm not a reporter. Help! I'm sick of clowns like you. Got no choice but to make an example of you, so the next Joker thinks twice. That's enough. You were in the bar, too. What's it to you? He's my sworn brother. You mind backing off? What? Sworn brother? Then he's not a reporter? Well, at least you're no civilian. Hmm. Fine. I'll take your word for it. If you can prove it with your fists, oh, he's just gonna pull out a gun? What a coward. Come on, guy. Mafia. What's the difference between that and Yakuza here? Oh, I'm glad there was a sign right there. <laughs> well, I didn't prove it with my fists. Uh, <laughs> but we sure fucking proved it. How about that? Fists don't lie. <laughs> this dialogue did not expect that. Satisfied? You back off now? Fair enough. A deal's a deal. Seriously? Then listen, about that gun. Sell me a firearm. Really? Hey, Kasuga. <laughs> you got nerve. I like that. I usually don't deal with first-timers, but I'll make an exception this time. <laughs> yes! Score! <laughs> Man. What a guy. Kiryu-kun, you saved me back there. Thanks, man. Go on now. Drink up. It's on me. Kasuga, you got balls getting the deal done after that hairy start. That's some nerve. <laughs> That's the least of what it takes to chase down what my readers want. Thanks to you, I got a killer story. How about Up in Arms, a frightening first-hand focus on the district's deadliest dealers. How's it sound exciting? Better hope our new friend doesn't read your story. Now, what to do with this little toy? Know where I can dump it? Any what? After all that effort, you're ditching the gun? <laughs> well, sure. I mean, I am a law-abiding citizen. Did you not just break the law by purchasing it? All I need is a story. The pen is mightier than the gun. I honestly don't get what makes a journalist tick. Alright, how about I get this to you as your reward? Uh, not really our style, and also, we ju we're kind of under suspicion for <laughs> murdering a guy with a gun. I get this feeling you're just dumping it on me, but okay. Gratefully accepted. Thanks. Never mind. Okay. 
9 millimeter automatic pistol. I don't know my guns very well, but I know at least what that means. Uh, well then, what should I write? What shall I write about next? Even after that scare, still no lesson learned, huh? You know, I can't save your ass every time, right? <laughs> Thanks for the warning, but this is who I am. Once I catch wind of a new story, there's no stopping me until it's told. In another juicy article, if another juicy article starts brewing, I'll fill you in on the scoop over a couple drinks, naturally. <laughs> Ever the fearless reporter. Still, there's a lot even I don't know about the dark side of Kamadocho. Nice. Kamadocho's a scarier place than I imagined. Yeah, there's a lot going on in this area's underground, apparently. Okay. Well, I guess, uh, I guess that's that for that sub-story. And I don't really have, uh, any particular direction to go. Um, somebody's getting mugged, though. I'd like to find them. Oh. Cutscene over by the shrine. Uh. Where's the producer? If he doesn't show up for the location shoot today, we're screwed. Well, he had that huge argument with the director at the last shoot, remember? He's probably still butthurt. Yeah, our director is something else. He won't budge an inch, even even when it means butting heads with the producer. I heard a lot of the crew can't deal with him either. Maybe it'll be a strike. Very... Uh, timely. Uh, well, whatever the reason, if we try to, try to shoot on location without the producer, the director is going to really boil over. Maybe we can find someone who can stand in for him. Oh, sure. Someone who can stay calm and cool while talking, taking all the crap our, our director dishes out. We need a guy with an aura of toughness. Well... Okay. A guy who can command respect just by being in the room. I guess guys like that aren't exactly dime a dozen, huh? Uh. Yeah, you're right. Not like a guy who can do all that is just gonna waltz down the street at us. Huh? That bold demeanor. That aura of unassailable authority. That faint hint of danger. That's our man. The poster child of a producer just walked onto the scene and, and into our lives. Okay. Eh? Wait, please, wait, our savior. I mean, you, sir. You with the cool aura and magnificent poise. Hmm? Yes, yes, I meant you. May I have a minute? We're a production crew for a TV show. What would a television crew want with me? Well, we're going to be shooting a short segment at a restaurant here in town for a gourmet food program. But we're down a man and we're desperate. Will you help us? What? How could someone who doesn't know the first thing about show business be useful to you? No, no, no. With an aura that magnificent, you don't have to do anything but stand there and look authoritative. Okay. Uh, whoa, I I can't see. Your aura is so bright. It's dazzling. This reeks of BS. <laughs> no, honestly, we're not trying to pull your leg. We're deadly sincere about this. We'll do all the heavy lifting. Well, actually, we may ask you to move some things and help with some of the simpler tasks, but... Helping out on a TV show, huh? I guess that's not something everyone gets to experience. Please, it has to be you. No one else can do this. They aren't kidding about being desperate. Should I help? Um, I mean, sure. Why not? Fine, I'll help out. If it's not going to take too long. <laughs> That's great. Thank you very much. Oh, my name is Mori. I'm the director's assistant. And this is Kawaguchi-san. Sorry, I, I don't know why I added San to that. Our cameraman. Hi, I'm Kawaguchi. Delighted to meet you. Uh, I'm kidding you. Good to meet you. So, what am I supposed to do? Well, the show's producer is supposed to be here, but something came up at the last minute. He can't make it. So, we need you to stand in for him, kiddyu son. Wait, what? I don't know what a producer does, but isn't that role pretty important? Uh, from what I understand, uh, a producer, like, funds the project, and, like, the director spends the money? Kinda? Or is that, like... A supervisor? Uh, never mind. I don't. I, I actually don't know. <laughs> it's something in that ballpark, though. I think. <laughs> no way. You might think that, but all a producer really does is act all high and mighty. It's total fluff job. Is that it? I have no idea what I'm doing, though. People will know I'm faking it, won't they? Not to worry. Once we get you into some clothes with a more executive style, you'll totally pass for a producer. You mean producers have a look? Sure they do. Now let's get you looking like a big shot. Taking my. <laughs> Yeah. Producer. Oh man, the sweater. Guys, do producers seriously dress like this? <laughs> Absolutely, you're a picture-perfect producer. Isn't that right, Kawaguchi-san? Hey. Oh my god. Uh, okay. So, what am I supposed to do? Well, our director is on the way, and all we need you to do is deal with him and keep up with his demands. He can be, uh, kind of a diva. And he says some weird stuff, but just try not to let him... Try not to set him off and you'll be fine. 
Hmm, having second thoughts here, but I'll see what I can do. Oh boy. Ran over our head this time, Kiryu. I can't believe the fucking neck sweater. That really does just tie the whole thing together. Uh, he could be here any minute now. Oh, the director's here. Here he comes. Kiryu-san, you're up. Try to act natural. Act uh. natural. Got it. Yep. <laughs> Ciao, lovelies. Good morning. Mori-chan. Guten Morgen, baby. <laughs> uh, gluten Morgan to you, too. Don't ever change, Mori-chan. I'm counting on you today. But bling cha ching baby. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh -huh. I love the writing in this game, dude. Oi. What in blazes? Where's our intrepid producer? Where is my Ida-chan? S sorry, I Ida san called in sick this morning. Kiryu san here will be standing him for him today. Huh? Kiryu? Never heard of him. He's the real deal, baby? Hi. Yes, of course. Kiryu san does a lot of work on location overseas. This is his first domestic shoot in a while. That's probably why you don't recognize him. Very well then. C'est la vie. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care who you are. When you're on location with me, everyone has to pull their weight, capiche? Kiryu san, this is our director. P Papillon Kato-san. Okay. Uh. I'm Kiryu. Good to meet you. Uh. Hmm. He's as stiff as, he's stiff as stiff. You dragged this guy out of the river, boys. I guess what they say is true. People in the television do seem to be pretty shallow. This guy's irritating, but I better, I better play along so he doesn't get suspicious. Uh -huh. There a problem, Kiryu? If you can't return a simple greeting, you're history in this biz, lad. Figures. A proper greeting is important in every walk of life. What should I do? Uh... Discourage disrespect. What? Get goofy. Oh no, I don't like any of these options. Uh. Get goofy? Maybe? When in Rome, I guess, I have to do this right. Hey! Hey, uh, Papi chan. Let's get the shoot rolling so we wrap up before my next eating. Chop, chop, yeah? Aww. I love it! Nice, okay. Didn't expect that from you, Kiryu-chan. I dig it. Today's gonna be but bada bing bada big. <laughs> I guess that went well. Good lord. This game was so serious for the first three episodes, and now we're... <laughs> so anyway, where's that babbling bit of a widow... of, of window dressing? Oops. Uh, she's on deck for our dining report. Window dressing? Is that TV jargon? Yes, about that. Our reporter Nagasawa-san is running a little late. Uh. Eh? Then why the f then why the fuck are we here? It was your job to lock down the talent. You did that, didn't you? Sorry, I forgot to get her the schedule in time. She's on her way right now. You incompetent imbecile! If we go over on time, we'll be screwing over the restaurant. You're a nice guy, Mori, but this shit doesn't cut the mustard. I'm sorry. Sorry. This director. What a change from that cheesy goofball a few seconds ago. Guy's got one short fuse. Oh, here she comes. Sorry, sorry I'm late. No problemo, baby doll. We're as patient as pie. Ooh la la, don't you look ravishing today, of course. Oh, Kato-san, don't be silly. Okay, gang, let's get this party started. Uh, si vous plaît. I... Why is there more French? I just recorded French in Phoenix right, and now we're here. I don't know how to say that. <laughs> Fantastico! To your marks, everyone, let's roll it. Oi. Mon dieu, what the hell is this? Where's the erasable? Oh, sorry, we'll get it. Sorry, Kiryu san, can you grab the erasable from the table there and bring it over? Erasable? I can check what's on the table, that's a start. <laughs> this is such a mood. Sure, hold on. I don't know what erasable is either. Is that the, the like, the clicker thing when they start filming something? There's some pretty random things on this table. Which one? Okay. Which one do I take? Uh, well, he was looking for something that was supposed to be on a table. I don't think it's supposed to be the eraser. Probably. I'm guessing it's probably the food. The erasable is this. Oi. Hey, I brought the erasable. Thanks, Kiryu-san. Set it on the table, if you would. Got it. Ooh, that looks tasty. 
Doesn't it? I want you to savor it now. Let it linger on your luscious lips. This shot will be my tour de force. The hell is a tour de force? Thanks, and sorry for making you bring it over, <laughs> Kiryu-san. Heh, <laughs> don't worry about it. But boy, Kiryu-san, I'm so glad you figured out erasable is what our crew calls consumable props like food. I mean, I figured the eraser was a red herring, and I don't think a knife should be on that table, so... Yeah, I figured that food is erased when it's eaten. Yep. Brilliant. This shoot's going smoothly thanks to you. I mean, it should be useful. Somehow. <laughs> wow, that looks delicious! There's so much, but it, it looks so tasty I could eat it all in one sitting. Good, the shoot's going along smoothly. Pardon me, Kitty chan but do we have but we have to do we have to still life that erasable later. Would you be a doll and grosser it for me? Oh god. Uh sure. Grosser the erasable. What could that mean? Uh Okay. Um Leave only the produce. Tilt the food at an angle. We have to still life that erasable later. Oh god. I don't know what this means. Uh, leave only the produce. What? What does that mean? <laughs> Tilt the food at an angle. Uh, sure. Grocer it, huh? I got this. I don't think I do. <laughs> That's a great looking grocer job, if I say so myself. Hey, I grocered it. Brilliant. Thank you, Kitty Yachan. Let's take a look. <laughs> Magnifique. The erasable is angled like a grocer's display. Oh my god, what a guess. When you grocer a prop, it means to tilt it at an angle. That doesn't make any fucking sense. I mean, I guess it does. Like how a grocer displays produce on the shelf. It's easier to film still life that way, but you, you knew that, of course. Mm. <laughs> yeah. I managed to get it right. Whew. Oh boy. Okay. Let me guess. One more. Video games love groups of three. Thank you for a wonderful meal. It was delicious. The shoot's almost done. Sorry, Kiryu-san. Kiryu Can I get you to Jirvi's props? It's about time to strike the set. Daddy. What does Jirvi's props and strike the set means? Uh, punch the dishes, taunt the dishes. Okay. <laughs> I got this. But I, I want to see the other options, though. Like, what does it mean? <laughs> I want to do it correctly, but I also want to see the funny. <laughs> Thank you, Kiryu-san. I'm sure glad you knew that jeering means putting away the props when you strike the set. It was obvious. This way we can clear out as soon as the filming's done. That's smart thinking, Kiryu-san. You're looking ahead to whatever needs doing. All hail the world's best producer. Yeah, right. No, seriously, you're really helping us out. Looks like I got that right. Nice. I am the world's best producer. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. That's a wrap. Let's blow this popsicle stand. The shoot's over, I guess. Nice. I'm so good. Kiryu-san, you saved us. You know showbiz lingo like a pro. <laughs> no problem. I had fun with it. That was something else. It's rare to see a producer who can take charge on a location like you. Please accept our thanks. I got a magnetic necklace. Okay. I'm guessing that probably helps me collect more money or something, maybe? You have all the makings of a great producer, Kiryu-san. We would love to have you back anytime. Oh, <laughs> What's going on here? Producer Ida. Did the shoot go down okay without a real crew? The producer. What the devil? Why would you even bother showing up? Huh, you need it on a teleprompter? We're here to beat some manners into you. This is for working us like slaves late into the night. Who the hell do you think you are? We got into broadcasting because we love television, but thanks to you, we don't have time to go home and watch TV. That's no way to live. What can I say? It takes blood, sweat, and tears to make a TV show. Fortify, gentlemen. Hmm. Big talk as always, director. Who made you so important that you can treat the producer like this? Huh? I've had it with you. That's why we boycotted the shoot today. We're on strike. Boycotted? More like you let your personal drama get in the way of work. You call yourselves professionals? Yap all you want. This is the last time we'll ever see you, so let's end this shit show on a happy note. For us. Shit. 
Oh my gosh, what do we do? Huh? I got this. Huh? Kiryu-san. Hey, uh? hold it. Eh? Who the hell are you? The name's Kiryu. I'm the producer here. <laughs> I can't have people harassing my crew. Kiryu-chan, I... Wait, you're my replacement? You just doubled my fun. I'll show you how irreplaceable I truly am. Come on, boys, we'll deal with this faker first. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, that's a big piece of wood. Alright, uh... Well, always, let's, uh, let's start with people with weapons. Like the game has been kind of teaching us to do. And I want to... Oh, okay, I can kind of stand them up and... Interesting. Oh, that's new. Again, I love the, the giant crowds that show up. Whenever you <laughs> get into a fight. Everybody just loves seeing fights just in the middle of the fucking street. It's excellent. Okay. Let's grab this guy and let's try to... Oh, never mind. I was going to try to throw him into the producer and try to get fancy about it, but... Eh. That's fine. God damn, this guy is not going down. Get out of here, Goto. Okay. And one more. Yeah, you scared? You scared? Huh? Idiot? Get out of here. I wanted to kick him, man. There we go. And let's give him a nice throw. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> and that was our 100th enemy. What an appropriate 100th, 100th enemy. Did they pull this guy off a bodybuilding show? Forget this. Get out of here. Kiryu-san. Uh. Are you alright? Uh, yeah. Thanks a million, Kiryu-chan. Mm. <laughs> it's the least an amateur like me can do. So, you were faking it after all, Kiryu-chan. You knew? <laughs> I'm no fool. I knew something was off the moment we met. You were a fish out of water from hello. Mm. Couldn't fool a pro after all. But if you knew, why didn't you get rid of me right away? Because, Kiryu-chan, you did the best you could with such a passion, despite not knowing a damn thing. 110%. TV is not a gentle mistress. A single minute or even seconds of footage can take dozens to hundreds of hours of hard work. Yeah. The struggle is, as we say, real. The challenge demands an incredible level of precision, experience, and skill. But there's something even more important than those. And that, mon ami, is passion. Passion. I believe TV gives viewers hopes and dreams. There are people out there who can be inspired by TV to change their jobs or even their way of life. I think TV is a medium that has the power to change people's lives for the better. You deserve to be a director. You might be right about that. Most deaf. That's why we make programs with passion, no matter how hellish the process may feel. As creators, we are, dream we are the dream weavers. It is our duty to pass those dreams onto others. You're quite a director, you know that? Heh, <laughs> <laughs> pish posh. I'm just an overbearing loser who can't even hang on to a solid crew. Damn. I want to bring the same passion I have in my work out in them, but I can never seem to get through to them. Yeah. Director Kato, what you just said, that moved me to my core. We have a lot of growing up to do. I want to do more. I want to make better programs. I want to create shows that bring people joy and inspiration. Right. I want to change our passion into the art of film channel our passion of the art of film. So please, we want you to keep on us like you do. You guys. Huh. Sounds like he got through to them, don't you think? They get your old-fashioned sense of passion. Kitty you, chan Thanks. Honestly. You truly are a great producer. So you won't stop giving us hopes and dreams, right? Uh. Au contraire, mon frère. We'll show you dreams you've, ne you've yet to see in your mind's eye. Okay, boys, production meeting. Let's drill down a plan for some better shows from the top. What? We just wrapped. Have mercy. <laughs> oh, boy. Suffer for your art. The show must go on. What the heck does from the top mean? <laughs> That's one I actually know. I didn't know any of the other three, but from the top is pretty obvious. Okay. Um, what is this place? Kondai. Uh, the Korean barbecue restaurant. I don't know if I ever actually went in here to actually see what this place is about. Oh, I did. Kondai, let me show you to a seat. Whatever. I'll buy something. Why not? May I take your order? Uh, salted tongue, grade A salted tongue. Kalbi, grade A Kalbi. Sirloin, grade A sirloin. Harami, tripe barbecue. Beef intestine. 
kimchi combo, spicy spicy beef soup. Um, I'll get the sirloin, sir. It tastes amazing. I wonder if he has different opinions on any food, like food that Kiryu doesn't like. We hope to see you again soon. I'm sure you will. I have to buy everything in the game for the completion list, so I'll be back for sure. Oh, fuck. The tailbone, though? Come on. That's... That's low. There's a vending machine in this alley over here. Oh, and a guy. Okay. Well, I found a twofer. Okay. Uh, the dream machine, 10,000 yen. Sure, why not? You pay 10,000 yen. And I got gold champagne. Cool. Hey, guy. Hey there, want some mushrooms? <laughs> Uh, huh? Mushrooms? <laughs> I got some great ones. Guaranteed to put a smile on your face. What do you say? Okay. Mushrooms that'll put a smile on my face. Sorry, I'm not interested in that sort of thing. Come on, why not give them a try at least? You won't find finer mushrooms anywhere. No, I'm good. <laughs> Go ask someone else. I don't fuck with psychedelics either, man. I see, that's too bad. Hey, you. Is it true you're selling mushrooms here? <laughs> a customer. What kind of mushrooms are you looking for? Um, I've never done them before. I don't know much, so can I recommend you some? So can, so can you recommend something? <laughs> it's rare to find someone new to mushrooms. All the ones I stock are great, but let me think. How about enoki mushrooms? They're in season now. Enoki? Enoki? I get it. You give them regular names so nobody catches on, huh? Smart. Huh? But enoki is enoki. What do you mean? I'm looking for the kind of mushrooms that'll make me feel good. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, is this guy just selling, like, cooking mushrooms? Well, my enoki mushrooms are top quality. Eat them in a hot pot. <laughs> yeah, and you'll feel good, all right. You making fun of me because it's my first time? Want your face rearranged? No, I'm not making fun of you, and I don't want my face rearranged. Wait, this mushroom dealer. <laughs> Why would you do this, though? Hey, that's enough. I get the feeling this guy's not the kind of mushroom dealer you're looking for. Huh? I don't get it. And who asked you anyway? Fuck off. Wait, hear me out. Ugh. If you're not gonna shut your mouth, I'll shut it for you. Alright, guy. You do you. If it's a trash can right here, homie. Yeah? Yeah? I Still new ones. What the fuck? This guy is ridiculous. Wait till you meet Mr. Shakedown. <laughs> and I hope he does. Um, thanks for helping me. Well, I was just defending myself. No, you're a lifesaver. Can I ask your name? It's Kiryu. <laughs> Kiryu-san, huh? Here, take this as my thanks. You got an Enoki Take. So you really do sell regular mushrooms, huh? That's what I said from the beginning. My mushrooms are guaranteed to put a smile on your face. Man, do you not know? Mm. That's exactly the kind of talk that confuses people. Look, you know there are mushrooms that make you hallucinate when you eat them, right? If you sell mushrooms in a shady part of town like Kamadocho, people are bound to get mixed up. So why don't you sell them somewhere else? Hmm, it's just... What? Is there some reason it has to be Kamadocho? I want as many people as possible to enjoy my mushrooms. Tokyo is the best place to find lots of people, Kamadocho especially. Well, you're not wrong about that, but there's, be there's better places to do it than here. Uh, I assume getting, like, a vendor's license isn't going to be easy for you either. I've only just started out. If I pack up and leave now, it'll feel like I've failed. I want to give it a bit more time. I see. Well, I won't stop you. Be careful, though. <laughs> you're a kind man, Kiryu-san. Thanks. They call me uh, Kitajima the Shroomer. For magnificent mushrooms, Kitajima is your man. So you see you around, then. Okay, friendship with the mushroom dealer. Uh, you got to know the mushroom dealer. Interacting with him will gradually fill the friendship gauge. You can check the status of the gauge anytime the completion list. Build your friendship with the mushroom dealer and see what happens. Okay. Uh, sure, I'll buy some mushrooms, man. Uh, I'll buy one of each. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. And don't forget, for magnificent mushrooms, Kitajima's uh, your man. Yeah, okay. All right, so I gotta, I gotta come to this guy and 
fill up his friendship gauge just by buying mushrooms gradually. I probably could fill it up right now, but I don't really need a whole bunch of mushrooms, I don't think. Uh, use. Okay. Well, actually, hold on. How many spaces do I have? I eat five food items, nice. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I will buy eight of the most expensive one real quick, just to see. I know it's going to be 80,000 yen, and that's quite a bit, but uh, how much does that fill the gauge? I may actually end up uh, finishing this guy up right now. <laughs> that, did be, that did, like, nothing. Okay. Oh, and he's walking away now. He's really trying his best. That's nice. Okay, so basically... The idea is to exhaust it as much as you can. I'm still getting completion points out of this. That was not worthless whatsoever. Nice. Okay. Uh, well, interesting. The, uh, <laughs> the mushroom dealer, huh? Oh, hey, Kikuchi. Oh, kitty song got some time for a stop and search? <laughs> what should I hand over? <laughs> well, I just get- I just ate all my mushrooms. So, uh, the pistol. What- what happens if I give him a fucking, like, a gun or something? Um, probably shouldn't give him alcohol either. Toughness Emperor? How about this? Hmm. This is about as safe as it gets. Doesn't look like you're carrying anything dangerous. Okay. Cool. So I just have to occasionally walk through this street, I guess, to gradually get points with him as well. I have seven CPs, so I decided to stop by the shrine real quick. I was right there. So, uh, disposable income. I don't know what cash confetti is, but... I guess we'll figure it out and uh, dash for longer, recover more quickly once again. So, uh, excellent. Little upgrades. Oh my god, that wild shirt we got has seven defense? Oh my god. Well, we're putting that on right away. That's for sure. Uh, and what about these two things? The card watcher. This device, this device emits a sound when a telephone card is near. Please, I want to get more of those. We need to talk to that one guy. I, I'm seeing how much stuff there is to do in this game now, by the way. Uh, okay, and what's our best option here? Um, restoring your health while you stand still in battle. Hmm. One defense, one blade, one firearm. I mean, it's, it's better than this. What is this peace of mind thing? I wonder what that does. Does it have, like, a special effect at all, or is it just defense? Whatever. Regardless, uh, I'm glad that I remembered that we got the, uh, the magnetic necklace. I completely forgot about the wild shirt. Uh, glad that I put that on. Why not try out the 100,000 yen vending machine? Why the hell not? That's a lot of money to put into a vending machine, but... Uh, regardless. Okay. Seems not worth it. Uh... A sound is happening. I assume it's my... My telephone card? Oh, there it is. We got the Miho Tono Type A card. Nice, I guess. Oh, okay. Uh, I just beat up some Yakuza dudes over here. Uh, it's kind of on, I think, the west side of the map. And right after I beat them, this started. Uh, hey there, buddy. I've been looking for you. You again. Oh, it's the Cafe Blend. Okay, I guess we're continuing the main plot now. Uh, you again. You got a lot of nerve showing up now. What do you want? I think it's pretty clear what I want. Time to pay your protection money, pal. If you're doing business in Kamadocho, you're doing business with us. To hell with that. It's not protection money if you don't show up to actually protect me when I need it. And you have the gall to ask for more? When you need it. What are you talking about? I'm talking about Tachibana Real Estate. When they came and chased me out, you people were nowhere in sight. Some protection. Tachibana. What? Oh, Tachibana Real Estate. Yeah, they're... Look, it's complicated. Complicated my ass. You got scared and ran away. What could be simpler? Sc scared? Who do you think... Thanks to you, I had to relocate. Now I'm scrambling to get new customers to make up for all the ones I lost. I couldn't... I, I couldn't pay you even if I wanted to. I think you better keep that attitude in check, asshole. Mind if I cut in? Huh? What do you want? Who are you? What family are you with? I'm not in anybody's family. And pipe down. This is the guy. It's this guy I'm talking to. Excuse me? What, what do you want from me? You say you opened shop here because Tachibana Real Estate forced you out of your last location? That right? 
Oh, I see what this is. You're trying to be this guy's new muscle. Oh, hell no. <laughs> what? Our family's handled this cafe's protection for 30 years. Try, you try and swoop in on our turf, it'll mean war. Looks like you need some convincing to stay quiet while I speak with the owner here. Shut your mouth and try me, I'll kill you. Yeah, yeah. By the way, I, uh, I started to pick up, uh, Rush Style again. Uh, having, uh, experimented with all three of them pretty heavily at this point, I think that, uh, I am pretty confident that Rush Style is probably my least favorite, then Brawler, and then Beast is my favorite, currently. Uh, but that, that might change. We are still, obviously, very early. Uh, I just don't like that Rush doesn't have a grab. Personally. What the hell? I'm not losing to some kid. You just did. <laughs> now get lost and don't show your face around this guy's shop again. Get fucked. Damn it, this ain't over. I'm sure it isn't. There, now we can finally talk in peace. So, so what? In the end, you're just taking his place as the guy squeezing me for protection money? Please, can you just leave me alone? I already said it wasn't like that. I'm not even Yakuza. I really just want to talk for a minute. Talk about what? Tachibana Real Estate. I'm doing a little investigation and like you tell me what you know. Anything's fine. What I know isn't a hell of a lot. Besides, I prefer never to deal with those guys again. They're terrifying. Terrifying how? What do they do to you? It's not even what they did. They just knew about me. Like, everything about me. Like what? My parents' home address, my daughter's school, where I source all the cafe supplies, who all my customers are. With that much ammo, they didn't even have to do anything. Yeah, he knew a lot about Kiryu, too. And to top it off, they're not even Yakuza. At least with that law, you know what to expect. I see. And where would I go if I wanted to meet the guy from Tachibana's office who paid you that visit? They're probably still there, finishing what they started. Still where? The Hakua building on Shichifuku Street, the place my cafe was in. They've driven most of the tenants out, so the place is practically empty, but there's one stubborn guy who said the only way he, he was leaving was in a casket. And he's still there? Probably. They were making him all kinds of sweet deals, but he turned down every last one. If he's still there now, Tachibana's boys will be too. Go have a look if you really want to get mixed up with them. Alright, thanks. I appreciate it. Tachibana's been running tenants out of the Hakua building on Shichifuku Street. It's worth checking out. Alright. Let's go ahead and do just that. Pachinko! Boy, am I glad I don't have to play that. I should probably hold my tongue. I don't know if that's a thing later. But, uh, currently, seems to be fine. Uh, where is Shichifuku Street? I don't know this area that well yet. That is, uh, Dragon Ball Tenkaichi Street over there. Um... From a vending machine, I just got an AppStim RX. Uh, stimulates the appetite by improving digestive tract function. Uh, I assume that just makes me hungry so I can buy more food? That would make sense. Uh, okay, I need to go sell this ruby plate at some point. Also, I got this uh, stuffed toy from a vending machine as well. I've just kind of been uh, poking around and paying those whenever I can. Alrighty, over here by the uh, the pink marker that I didn't realize was on the map because I haven't had one for a while. Uh, there's some dudes sitting outside here. One of them looks a lot like Kimoji. <laughs> looks like this is the place Tachibana Real Estate's been trying to buy up. Well, let's go say hello. No business signs. It seems Tachibana's boys live up to the rumors. Namase Bar. Guess they're the last holdout. Okay. Do we have a, a dungeon here? Seemingly no. This place is from the Well, <laughs> fair question. Tachibana Fudosan Hanashio Kinikitandaga Ante Kokono Miseno Tencho Dagado Moskoste, Jinsei Konisto Jinsei Ka 
なんだ違うのかよおいちょっと少しだけ話を聞かせてくれないかあんた立花不動産にこのビルから追い出されそうなんだろう何なのあんた<笑>さっき言ってた人生一家ってのは登場会の四次団体でこの店のケツ持ちしてたヤクザ毎月きっちりみかじみれを取ってたくせによ立花不動産に追い払われちまって極道が肩毛相手に退いたああ呆れたもんだよこのビルの他の店はもう立花不動産に立ち退かされたのかあ,あ,ある時急に立花不動産が来てこのビルのオーナーになったから全員出てけってさ中には立花不動産って聞いただけで店閉めるやつもいて残ってんのはもううちだけブレイブおうあんた家族で店に住んでる住む場所別にする余裕なんてないからね神さんはビルに住み着いてるホームレスが怖いって奥から出てこなくなったよ、oh, 連中よこしたのも立花不動産の嫌がらせホームレスにビルの中で小便させたり What? 大声をあめかせたり不審火まで出しやがる<笑>立花不動産の人間も毎日来るのか最近来るのは無言電話だけ夜通し何百回ってかかってくるよ誰だいや、これは結構不思議立花不動産だなんで急にど,どうしよう五六人はいる生瀬さん立花不動産です入れてやってくれねえか連中と話してみたい安心しろ何があっても俺が守ってやる。This is a scary situation, dude. Oh, Odasan. Do mo, Namase san. Doska. パチノキノケン、カンガイテクレマスターウチワデテイキマセンヨソアイテモコノビルはもううちがオーナーになってるわけだし勝手な都合を並べて座られちゃ困っちゃうんだよなだからって毎日毎日嫌がらせしやがってうちにはあかんぼだっているんだぞ見ない顔だけどそちらさんはねえ生瀬さんこんなヤクザに耐えると後が怖いですよあいにく俺は肩着の人間だがこの店の用心棒と思ってくれている用心棒誰に対してのです立花不動産って肩着ずらしたヤクザ<笑><笑>別に部外者が何をが構いませんがまあそれより今日はちょっと預かってきたもんがありましてねこれ人生一家の親分さんからです何それ今まで生瀬さんが人生一家に取られたみかじめ料月3万の3年分に色付けて200万生瀬さんの代わりに取り返しておきましたよ極道から金を取り立てたあんたらがか100万それとうちの社長から聞いたおしゃれ200万お子さんのミルク代にお、oh, もう200万かな、oh、ねえ生瀬さんもうこれで手打ちましょうよ早いとここのビルから出てっちゃもらえませんかね金の問題じゃねえ。俺はな、勝手な理屈で弱いもんの人生好きにできるって、あんたらのその態度が気に食わねえんだよ。メン。綺麗事はよしましょうよ、生瀬さん
もうこれ以上こねてもあんたのもらいは増えませんからあおうミレスイタシバシアガテカネノモンダイジャナカタラナノモンダイダーゴラーナニーカアンタニワノナキゴイガキコエネノカコロモノマイテ親の顔にさっさば叩きつけるのが立場の不動産のやり方かそちらさんも人様に説教を垂れるほど真っ当な人間には見えませんがね<笑>まあいいでしょう生瀬さんにはこちらの誠意が通じたと見えますし何勝手なこと言ってんだ生瀬さん今夜あたりお電話いただけそうですねいいお返事を期待していますよマン、these guys fucking suck oh my god 今時こんな街で妙な正義感に合わせちゃ命が危ないよお兄さんお遊びはほどほどにしないとねあんたこの店閉めて出ていくのかああ出ていくと言われてさっさと出てたらエンジはバカだ辛抱を重ねりゃこういうボーナスが出てくるってのによ、oh. Well I mean, it's your life, and it's, it might be the safer option unless they come back to collect it. Uh, uh, I don't know, man. There was no winning there, though. Anta, you were in the last few days, how did you do it? I'm going to go back to work here, and I'm going to go back to the next place. 次のとこどこださあねいろいろだよ立花さんとこは手広くやってるからどういう連中なんだ立花不動産ってのは、うん、何が目的か知らんけどあそこに関わんのはやめときなあの人たちはカムロ町の闇だよ闇俺から見りゃヤクザなんかよりよっぽど怖いカムロ町中に目と耳を張り巡らせてるから相手がヤクザだろうが弱み見つけ出してすぐに金玉握っちまう人生一家もその手で追い払われたってわけか<笑>聞いた話じゃ人生一家の組長この間登場会本家から指詰めさせられたらしいよ何本家への上納金ちょろまかしてんのが匿名で作られてねもっとも作られたのはそのほんの一部全部ぶちまけられたら組長絶対殺されるっていうオーフなるほど立花が小出しに作って脅しをかけたってことか別に俺は立花さんとこがやったなんて一言も言ってないよただヤクザのそんな弱み探り出せんのあそこ以外にはまずないだろうけどね俺があとあんたに言ってやれるのは立花からは手ぇ引けって忠告くらいだね Sounds like a solid plan but I don't think the story is heading that direction though it, it really doesn't seem like Kiryu's style A real estate company willing to make an enemy of the Tojo clan. The owner of Cafe Blend may have been right about them being worse than the Yakuza. Yeah. 
I still want a bit more info. Hopefully I can track down those other homeless guys. In this neighborhood, I usually see them hanging around Park Boulevard. Maybe I'll start there. Find the homeless men. Okay. Uh, oh, it's nighttime now. Okay. Uh, well, it's not nighttime, nighttime. It's like evening, I guess. Uh, be honest with me. Uh. Okay. I'm honest. I have no idea where that came from. Uh, there's an exclamation point along the way uh, in the back alley. Oh, that's where I found Mr. Mushroom Man. Well, let's go over and uh, say hello to him as well and buy some more uh, shroomage off of that fine guy. May as well try to become friend. Oh, fuck. Okay. Um, well, I will stay very safely behind him. I don't want to lose... I really don't want to lose 19 mil. So I'm gonna I'm gonna chill over here. Oh. Oi. This is just a plain old shiitake mushroom. You got a death wish, punk? N no, of course not. That's Kitajima the shroomer. Hurry up and hand over the shrooms. We want to get this train rolling. You screwed us over. You screw us over. We ha we'll have to teach you a lesson. Well, look, like I said, I only sell regular mushrooms. Uh. What? You expect us to believe you're here in the middle of Kamadocha selling nothing but table mushrooms? Uh, looks like he's got himself in a mess here there. Not that I'm surprised. Alright. Oi. Hey. Kitty you son. Huh? What's your beef? This guy really is just a regular mushroom seller. If you want the other kind of mushroom, better try elsewhere. Oi. And who asked you for your opinion, huh? You got some nerve butting in like that. You're gonna regret disrespecting the boss. We just wanna trip out on shrooms. <laughs> You're gonna be real sorry if you get in our way. That's so. If it's a trip you want, I've got a one-way ticket to Pound Town with your name on it. <laughs> Cocky fucker. You're going down. Yeah, yeah. We know how this goes. Pick up a trash can and go ham. Damn, it took a whole trash can to break his guard. That's pretty impressive, actually. And let's do this one again. Oh! I completely forgot about the circle button. It, that, that prompt goes by really fast. And get fucked. <laughs> Ugh, this guy's a monster. Let's regroup, boss. You'll get what's coming to you. Yeah, yeah. I hear that every day. Thanks for helping me out again, Kiryu-san. That was pretty dicey. Yeah, I guess people still haven't got the message that I'm just selling regular shrooms. You couldn't have picked a worse place to sell them. Well, you have a point, but I don't think that's the only problem. You don't? Pretty much every day someone comes here with the wrong idea, so there's gotta be some other reason. The reason he gets mistaken for an illicit shroom dealer. Um... I think it's probably the way you talk, like we discussed before. Maybe the way you talk is the problem. The way I talk? Uh. Yeah, that's it. You sound shady as hell, just the type who'd be selling dangerous mushrooms. Huh? You mumble a lot, and the way your sentences trail off doesn't help either. You have to be more cheerful in the service industry. But this is just how I talk. <laughs> well, first you need to practice. Try being more cheerful when you speak. I've got good mushrooms. I've got good mushrooms. Like that? Not even close. Aw. You need to put more effort into it. Project your voice. A smile is important, too. Okay, okay. The finest mushrooms fresh today. My mushrooms are truly superb. <laughs> Much better. You still have a ways to go, but you're on the right track. The smile looks more natural, and it's a big improvement over your first attempt. You really think so? I can't tell the difference. Uh. I do. I bet fewer people will mistake you for a shady mushroom dealer now. <laughs> I hope so. Thank you, Kiryu-san. I mean, there's also a better location than the back of an alley. You might want to change your laugh, too. All right. Uh, Marvelous Mushrooms? Yeah, I am. Okay. Uh, I can only buy four at a time, though. Damn. Okay. Okay, that time I was able to buy significantly fewer mushrooms from him. He's speaking up a lot better now. I was only able to buy... 
a round of eight that time. So I wonder if it's maybe not based on how many mushrooms I buy and more about like how many times I I buy from him. Let's gamble, baby. I would never do this in real life. Never. What are we getting? Stamina on Royale, and that would be why. 100,000 yen for that. That's insane. Okay, uh, is Mr. Shakedown still here? No? Okay. Ooh. <laughs> I didn't notice that. All right. Navo Reach. Okay. Uh, we finally found one of these guys. Gold suits, huh? Well, he's fucked. See ya. Whoa, 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 whoa. I just got 4 million yen from that. Damn. Okay. Uh, now I see why that's an important thing. Okay. Um, all right. Yo, you got a word on any good jobs? If I did, I'd be doing them myself. Speaking of, I hear Saku-san just got back from that gig for Tachibana Real Estate. You serious? Lucky bastard, you think he'd cut me in on some of that if I asked him? Who knows? Can't hurt to ask, I guess. He's probably over at Public Park 3 with his buddies. Okay. A homeless guy who worked with Tachibana Real Estate might have some info. I'll head to Public Park 3 and check it out. Okay. Oh. Okay. Card somewhere? Maybe? Um. Okay. Where is it? There it is, I think. Yep. Found it. Uh, the Nanase Otoha Type A card. Uh. 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 This is a sub story? <laughs> Punish me. I just I just saw this lady and then I saw the text abuse me. I didn't think this was gonna lead into anything. Oh god. Hmm? Hurry! Now punish me where everyone can see my shame. Oh, some kind of SM club is here, I guess. Oh god. How to train your dominatrix? You've gotta be fucking kidding me. Man, what people do in the privacy of their homes is one thing, but is this really necessary out on the street? Um, okay then. You, you middle-aged man. Yes, go on. Um, um, you lusty guy. More, put your soul into it. This sucks. I hate this. Please visit again, you, you customer. You're not doing too hot. No, 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 Ayu-chan. That was no good. Like, nothing about it was working. Nothing at all. I knew you were bad during the role play, but I didn't expect you to be bad just saying goodbye. C can you please tell me what I did wrong? Where do I start? When I asked you to punish me, you said I was a middle-aged man. That's the truth, not a put-down. <laughs> I suppose that's true. And then you called me lusty. I mean, who says that? If I'm coming here, lust is pretty obvious. I think I... Uh, lust is pretty obvious, I think. What's the joy in being told what you already know? Also true. And to top it off, please visit again. That's proper business etiquette, not sadomasochism. I'm so sorry. Oh man, Ayuchan, you're an SM queen, a dominatrix. You should never, ever apologize. Other than your terrible humiliation skills, you're the girl of my dreams, but I don't know if I can keep this up. If you disappoint me next time, I'll have to ask for a different girl. See ya. Oh. <laughs> do you want to do this? SNM must be a tough act. She's crying. Do I console her? Uh. I mean, sure. Oi. She's the 100th person I've talked to. You've got to be kidding me. Hey, are you okay? Oh, uh, sorry. I'm sorry for causing a scene in public, too. Yeah. It's okay. Well, it was a scene, I guess. But this SNM thing, it sure has some unique challenges, doesn't it? Yes, very much so. What do you think after watching that? I'm not cut out for this line of work, am I? What? Do you want to work in this industry? Mm. Hmm. Honestly, you do seem to be too caring and gentle to play a dominatrix. I find it very hard to berate someone, especially a client. It just feels like I'm being rude. Mood. Hmm. N not, not that I have clients. <laughs> Never mind. Moving on. I would... <laughs> Fuck me. I would think your customers pay you because they want to be abused by you. 
If you're so hung up about berating someone, why are you even working as a dominatrix? Since I was a child, I could never rebuke anyone. Even when my friends betrayed me, I laughed it off and forgave them. I'm still like that today. But those relationships I built on swallowing my feelings were false. They were shallow. I realized I had no real friends. Not one person with whom I could share my honest feelings. That's sad. I took this job to transform myself into someone who can tell people exactly what's on her mind. But now I see that I'm not cut out for it. Uh... That's an interesting path to that conclusion. Well, that's quite a leap of logic to make, yeah. But if you're still motivated, why not stick with it? But, but, I don't have the talent to be a dominatrix. I think it's something you might be able to learn, but I don't think you're ever gonna have your soul in it. Hey, check it out. We got ourselves a real-life dominatrix. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Hey, baby, you always dress like that? Oh, I beg of you, please make me your slave. Ha ha ha. This sucks. Uh, um, I'm sorry. Could you... Uh? Eh? What was that? You got something to say, kinky lady? Um, no. I'm sorry. <laughs> what the hell is this? I thought you were supposed to be all royal and shit. Some S&M queen you are. I... Hey, I think you should probably, maybe, try a different path. Otherwise, you're gonna end up getting hurt. <laughs> She says you're bad for business. Uh? Eh? Uh? I'll say it for her. Don't loiter in front of the club. You're bad for business. Huh? Stay out of this, you squealing pig. You can't all act all tough when you're trotting out of an S&M dungeon. I'm not a customer. Just get lost. You're a nuisance. Don't order me around, bacon boy. <laughs> oh, he he's snorted, I see. Whittle masochist piggy. Wub's taking a punch, am I right? I know how to make you feel real good then. I... Are you watching, girl? I guess this is how you do it. Okay, maybe don't do this part, though. <laughs> okay. Damn, I have 24 mil now. Holy shit. Uh, let's grab the bike. Okay. Oh! Okay, wait. I, have, I actually think we've seen that one before with, like, the sign. But still, that... <laughs> it being a bike makes it way different. Even still. All right, strip shows banner. I love how specific it is. This guy's trying, but not good enough. All right. Oh, damn. This masochist is tough. You're supposed to get like you like getting your ass spanked. I said I'm not a customer. Do I need to pound that into your skull again? Ah! Next time, pick a safe word before you ask for a flogging. What is this dialogue? <laughs> if I see you around here again, you're dead meat. Whoa! Uh, excuse me. Sorry. I caused a big scene fighting in front of your, uh, club. No, no, that's okay. Thank you for telling those men what I wanted to say myself. And, um... Hmm? What is it? Could you teach me how to punish people? I knew that this was gonna go that direction. <laughs> huh? Punish people? Yes, the words you said to those men scurrying. That was amazing. I wanna be like you and berate people the way you do. Wait, I don't know. I, I, I love how before we were seen as like a young hip punk and now we're getting a fucking sadist and a producer as well. Just People just project everything onto Kiryu. That's great. I want to change myself. Please, help me. I'm in this for Ayu. I, there's got to be a better way to do it, but look, man. Let's give it a go. She's desperate enough to ask for my help, even though we just met. She must be serious about wanting to change. Not sure how I can, how I can teach her how to berate others, but if she thinks I can help. Okay, I'll do what I can to help. Oh, you will? Thank you. My name's Ayu. I'm so glad I met you. I'm Kiryu. But now what? I don't know where to begin. <laughs> That's true. For now, though, there are too many people here. Maybe go to the park, please? Okay. You want to get changed? Don't go to the park dressed like that. Oh, Ayu. Well, we're at the park. Now what? I'd like to try walking through a session with you. Oh, 
How does that work? S&M is about play acting, a certain kind of fantasy. It's a form of role playing, but it's not what you'd expect. I think I could gain better insight into S&M if I were to practice with you. God. I want to play out a session with me taking the dominant role. You have a submissive. I see. Hey, wait a second. Did you say I have to play the customer's part? Yes, kiddie san I want you to play the role of a thoroughly masochistic client. <laughs> and as we do this, I'd like you to give me advice on what I should be saying as a dominatrix. I get it, but... Please! I want to change! <laughs> if I can't do this, I'll end up as a quiet, dull person for the rest of my life. We don't have to- It's not this black and white, Ayu. There's other ways. You could practice public speaking or something, or shouting at yourself in the mirror, or something else. I, it doesn't have to be this. She's laying the guilt on thick. I can see your point, though. It would do Ayu good to learn how to berate others with authority. Besides, I told her I would help. I can't back out now. Why don't we introduce her to Miss Tatsu? W wouldn't that solve everything? All right, I'm all right. Fine, I'm not doing anything weird though. <laughs> Great, thank you very much, Kiryu-san. Can we start with you entering my chamber? I'll try. We're doing it here in the fucking park. There's kids over there. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking sucks, oh, mistress. May I serve you today? Yes, please do. Yeah, that's not right. Pardon? I'm not fully into my role either, so I'm not one to talk, but... Ah, uh, you, you're a dominatrix, right? Y yes I'm supposed to be. Before you can really dominate someone, you need to understand what it means to be a dominatrix. With this sort of thing, the beginning is crucial. Your first words have to lay out the rules. You're the boss. I see. Then, how should I respond to a client's greeting? Uh... Interesting. Okay. Your parents would cry if they knew you were here. Who gave you permission to speak, pig? And it's not like I'm happy to see you or anything. Okay. We have a Sundere option. Too nice. And we have... Well, I don't think anybody's looking for a, a Sundere dominatrix. They want, they want force behind it. So... I never thought I'd be recording something like this, man. I, I'm kind of, I'm kind of taking a st like like a back seat in my own body right now, trying to like realize what I'm doing right now. Uh, who gave you permission to speak, pig? I would say who gave you permission to speak, pig? I see. You don't even treat them as a person. That does sound like a dominatrix. Yeah, I wouldn't know how a masochist thinks, but it's probably a turn on for them. Okay, can we do this from the top again? Boy, oh boy. But mistress, may I serve you today? Who gave you permission to speak, pig? S sorry. I know I told her to do this, but what am I doing? Kitties? We're on the same wavelength, buddy. S so, how are you going to serve me today? Huh? <laughs> um, please tell me what you'd like me to do. S&M comes in many flavors. I have to get the client to tell me about their particular kink. Got it. But I don't really have anything in particular. I guess not. Th then, just in general, what do you want women to do to you, kitty son? Tell me. Hmm. What do I want done to me? Nothing really comes to mind, so let's just play the masochist here. Is kitty you ace? Maybe? Uh, oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Uh... These decisions do not reflect my own opinion. <laughs> uh, I want to be stepped on with your heels. Ew. Is that right, kiddie san <laughs> I never would have guessed. Yeah. I don't really want that done. It's just an example. <laughs> Besides, that's the wrong response for a dominatrix. Pardon? Telling you their kink makes them vulnerable. Uh, you... You need to come back with the right response to maintain trust. I see. Then how should I respond? Uh... Gross. I'm the only one who... I, I bet you'd like... Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll roll with that. I guess. Go with, I bet you'd like that, you pervert. That will do. Oh, that sounds very much like what a dominatrix would say. That's perfect. I'm learning so much from you already. Yeah. Even in casual conversation, you should be working in an S&M flavor. <laughs> okay, can we try this again? Please. 
uh, cut me some slack. Give me a break, man. M mistress, I would like you to step on me with your high heels today. <laughs> I bet you'd like that, you pervert. Good God. I, I'm sorry. What am I doing with my life? <laughs> but very well. We shall begin. Hi. No, 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 no. Abort. Hi, what are you guys doing? Oh, wow, miss. Your clothes are so pretty. Are you having fun? Can we play? Why would they write this? Uh, guys, this isn't... We're not playing. You see, um... Wait, are you? Calm down. How could you expect me to stay calm now? Please, can we leave? No, think about it. Wouldn't a true dominatrix take advantage of any unexpected situation to enhance the session? Oh, I see. That does make sense. Well, then, what do I propose you say? Answer me. Good. I use back in control. I'm really uncomfortable. Uh, in this situation with kids watching, what would a dominatrix say to a masochist client? Uh... Uh... What are you trying to say with that? In the world of SNM, the dominatrix must be an absolute presence. No masochist can be allowed to turn his attention any toward anyone but her. I see. By ordering the client to look at me and no one else, I'm reaffirming my dominance over him. <laughs> That's it. I understand now. Can we pick up where we left off? No. Make the kids leave. Make the kids leave. Make them go. Why did we do this here? Come on. What are you talking about, M mistress? You. Who said you could look away? Oh, you. Eyes on me and no one else. Y yes, mistress. I don't get this game you're playing. Grown-ups are weird. Let's go. Thank God. Get out of here. That was uncomfortable as fuck. I'm so sorry. I was just training, but I caused you embarrassment in the process. I think I lost some dignity, among other things, but it's worth it if it helps you change, I am. <laughs> Thank you, Kitty san Can you come with me to the dungeon? I want to give you something as my thanks. Sure. Okay, we're just going to the building. That, that didn't mean what I thought it meant. Oh, no, we are going. It, oh, oh. I think I left my bag somewhere around here. I should have something that would make a good token of my appreciation. You bring your personal belongings into the playroom? Oh, you chun, you've got a client. He requested you personally. I'll send him through, so get ready, okay? Huh? Uh, oh. yes. Whoa, if you got clients coming in, I shouldn't be here. No, you're right, but this could actually be a great Sorry. opportunity. What do you mean? I'm going to put what I learned from you into practice, kiryu san So, could you hide somewhere and watch how I do? What is this sub-story? You've got a lot more guts than I thought. I never imagined I'd get roped into watching over an S watching over an S and M session, but alright, I'll I'll do it. Give it your best. I will. Oh my god. Oh no. Hi uh, Yuchan, I'm back. That's the guy who told Ayu she was a bad dominatrix. Ayu uh, Chan, I wanna see how much you've grown as a dominatrix since our last time. Now, mistress, may we begin? Go on, Ayu. Show him what you've learned. Who gave you permission to speak? How dare you utter human words, you pig? Such insolence. No, I'm not doing that. <laughs> Please forgive me. Mistress, you're finally gorgeous. You're fantastically gorgeous today. Please, abuse me some more. I don't understand your oinking, you pig in human clothing. Why would I deign to listen to the bleeding of animals? S so unreasonable. More, more. I used taking it to a whole new level. This client seems happy too. She did it. So, so what shall I subject you to today? But please, mistress, I beg you to whip me. Then I, uh, while I lie humiliatingly exposed, stepped on me with your pin heels. I bet you'd like that, you pervert. Yes, mistress, I am a pervert. You must be. Only a pervert would beg for humiliation from a girl your daughter's age. What a pervert. Pathetic. No, I can't take it. Oh, this sucks. Why am I? Why am I doing this? Excellent. Just like I taught her. He's eating it up too. That's how it's done. I'm so uncomfortable, guys. I'm getting really. <laughs> how am I on the same page as Kitty this whole time? I need to move a little. Huh? Did you hear that? Damn it! They heard me. Is is someone there? I'm busted now. Okay. Uh, you don't work here, do you? Ayu-chan, who is this guy? 
Ayu, how will you get out of this one? H hey, what are you looking at? Who told you to take your eyes off me? Ah. But, but, mistress, this strange man. Oh, you. You should have eyes only for me. If you look at anyone but me, I won't forgive you. Oh. The situation. I don't get it, but if I had to give it a thumbs up or down, it's thumbs way up. W what are you saying, you pervert? N not that I dislike that about you. Okay, now we're now we're yacht uh, soon today. Oh, 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 oh! She made it through by applying my advice. It may not be a dominatrix material, but she's owning this persona. Okay. That sucked. Uh, uh, I mean, it was funny, but... <laughs> Thanks for the play session, Ayu-chan. Ayu-chan? No. Your Majesty Queen Ayusama. Your demeanor was truly regal, and your behavior the height of haughty scornfulness. You were utterly magnificent. Oh, really? You have grown immeasurably since our last meeting, Mistress. I feel truly humbled in your presence. Please allow me to the honor of loyally requesting you. Huh. <laughs> How dare you even consider straying? I'll allow you to keep requesting me, you pathetic swine. Nope. <laughs> nope. Ayu, oh, you nailed it. Thank you, it's all thanks to your advice, Kiryu-san. I just hope I never have to do anything that awkward again. Me too, man. Me too. Well, here's a little something to make it all better. Please accept it. I mean, I guess I should have expected something like this in a game that takes place in Red Light District Tokyo if it's a rated M, but man. Man. A fur belly warmer. Thanks to you, Kiryu-san, I was able to change a little. I think I've gained enough confidence to make it as a dominatrix now. Good for you, Ayu. Thank you, Kiryu-san. I demand you visit as a client. Nope. Next time, Ayusama will pleasure you with her whip. I don't see myself coming back for a whipping, but I'm glad I could help all the same. What? <laughs> I've seen, like, clips, like, just that people have shared from this series, but never a single thing like that. Uh, I j no, nothing. Uh, it is said that a wearer will revert to a wild, feral state. Nine defense. Hot damn. Okay. Uh, well, I guess on that note, I, I think that is going to be everything for Let's Play Yakuza Zero Blind. I've been Guildmaster Wiggly. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving it a like. If you are new, consider subscribing. If you want to follow my socials, they're in the description. And I hope to see you all in the next one when we hopefully do not that again.